What's up, gang? Uh, got parts in. Got even more caps in today. Got flux in. Got a bunch of stuff in, actually. Got diodes and resistors and transistors. Um, had a little accident. My uh, my weller blew up. Oh, it's still falling apart. Uh, but I'm going to show you at least a couple tips. Uh, I've had some major problems. Or not, I mean, not major problems, but just had some issues with the soldering. And some of the soldering that was done to this board before I started working on it. But uh, stick around. I'll show you what, what happened and what I did to fix it and get around it. <laughs> Stay tuned. What's been going on with this board is there was a lot of these loose caps that I thought just had cold solder joints and they had lifted the pad off and there's a plating that goes through the board so that it can make a connection on both sides. Now on the top on all of these it's had a, had a solder pad and um, it, I, I've never had to solder to the top of it. Just the solder going through the hole and the and the component itself, I guess, does the job. But in this case, um, I need something to go through to from the bottom to the top, other than the leg. And something I can't get, you know, it won't even hold any solder. So it just sticks to the iron, or it's it might stick to the leg, but it's not it's not connecting anything. Let's see if I can get it this time. Oh, I left the damn cap in there. No wonder. Oh, I forgot the other tip I was going to say. Okay, so since my iron blew up, I don't have a fine tip. All I have is this weird baseball bat looking thing which is like rounded at the end and is almost useless. So I needed to get the solder all the way out of the hole to go through. Otherwise my, you know, my, my weller, I, I have a regular tip on it. it doesn't, I don't even know if there is a tip that would help you do this. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing. So what I did was I put this guy in the hole and then just held my iron against it until it got hot and then just kind of spun it like this. And then it got the the hole to open up en enough where I think I can get the leg through now. Yeah, it's it's pretty good now. And it doesn't look like I damaged the pad doing that. But I you probably can. These are these are just emergency fixes. This is not like a, your standard way of doing anything by by any means. Let me get back to the stupid wire trick. And it is just not wanting to cooperate. Can't get it to braid. Just spin. Okay, now I've done this like, what, two or three times, and I couldn't get the leg through the hole afterwards because I put too many strands through here. Okay. I can't see what, what you guys can see. Okay right in the middle of the screen right here so I just want a little bit coming through not really that much this hole is actually fine so this isn't even necessary I'm just kind of doing it to show you guys but earlier I was doing it with like four or five strands and I didn't have anywhere near the problem that I'm having now but we're gonna go with three this time Okay, so now I got it bent out and flowered out enough that we can swip, switch over to the back side. Sorry that I'm aggravated. It's just 
so much crap has happened today and I really didn't need my soldering iron to blow up because I have tons of board work to do which if you follow the channel you know you see what we're doing okay I just barely want to cut some or barely leave some on here just enough to same same thing as the other side just kind of flower it out give myself kind of a solder pad Start bowling? yeah we're leaving. all right I'll come out the side door Which one? This one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got that part. So yeah, we're closed. They're already leaving me. So let's see if I can get the capacitor through. <coughs> this is the moment of truth because the last time I couldn't do it, or the last few times. Well, you guys kind of get the theory. <laughs> oh, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. This is the cap that goes here. All right. Got it down. Yay. We will have a video for the day. Hopefully you can see that because I wasn't looking. And we are right here. Okay. And like I said, I, I won't have any trouble on this one because it actually does have... Actually, I might have a little trouble because I don't have a really good fine tip on here. Okay, I found solder. I was having that kind of, kind of having that problem. Actually, that helped a lot. Yeah, that did. Just that little extra wire. Definitely helped hold the solder up against that solder point, solder pad. This iron is not ideal for this. Okay, let me check and see if it wiggles. Uh, it is wiggling. I don't know it. I got it all the way. But in tomorrow's video, I will let you know if I got it. Or actually Friday's video. I'll have a little bit more time and I'll check continuity if I can find where the heck this thing is going to. And another trick that I've had to use is using my weller to kind of seal it because I'm I haven't been able to these pads are just so tiny. Okay, that's a lot more sturdy now. I'll cut that one a little short. So, the other thing I've been doing... Let me back out a little bit so you see it's a little better. Okay, so I got a ton of solder on here, right? As I've just been kind of using the weller to heat it up and just kind of push it down. Now I take off the excess. I might have taken off a little too much on that one. I don't know if I can get it on there. You can hardly see it. And I'm shaking like a bitch. Come on. I don't have to use two hands. Okay, now let me check and see how, how she wiggles. Okay, it's in there pretty solid now. Check with my magnifying glass. I used the flash to see. Okay, what I thought was that looked funny is actually just my frayed wires on, over here. So that's fine. And that'll do it. So there's three tricks I've been using because I don't have the right tip. But the pro tip is get the right tips, which I have to remember to get my tip out of this weller. These are brand new, damn it. Well, rest in peace. I've had it for about uh, 10 years. I haven't even been doing this, this kind of work that long. I've had it longer than I've done the work. But that's going to wrap this up. Sorry that it was a shit video. 
and I ran out of time. They even closed the store before I got done. But this is probably a quarter of the way done. This is the Seawolf board. So tomorrow um, I will get this in the game. I'll have it finished, get it in the game, and we'll see if we can get the game to fire up. I also do have the new power supply. Even though we rigged the other one, I'm going to throw in the brand new one. So it's not rigged, so I won't have any issues there. But stay tuned. Hopefully that helps somebody. I'll, I'll title it this, <laughs> this trick, whatever you want to call it, because uh, I needed help whenever it happened to me the first time. And I can't remember who told me how to do that, but it does work. But yep, we'll wrap that up. Thanks for watching. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it too. Super hang on. <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.